Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And yes, my attempt at holding the castle on my own didn't quite work. I was able to kill quite a few more, but I just got worn down and then a rogue spear or arrow hit me square between the eyes and that was it. So... I've lost a lot of stuff, but honestly, it's not that bad. Let me explain why. At least let me try to make everything sound a little bit better. My inventory was too full. It was. I had too many horses and I was getting that massive herd debuff. I was going nowhere near 80,000 capacity. There was no need for it and yeah. That happened. Anyway. Not really a good excuse, but hey oh. So we just need to heal up and take the fight to them. But before I do that, there's something I've got to say. I didn't realise this, and what's even more well, is that hang on, can I can I show can I show you? I have an example here. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. So, okay, let's say, maybe you can do it with this, I don't know, one-handed polearm, but imagine that's a two-handed sword, yeah? So one thing that I have recently found out, yeah, so the X button on your keyboard, X, is the alternative weapon mode. Now, if you're using a javelin, that will turn it into a pole arm, you know, into a spear, so you can fight with it rather than throwing it. If you're riding your horse with a lance, that's how you couch. But, one thing I never knew is that the two-handed weapons you have to press X, if it gives you the option of one-handed and two-handed, you press X and you switch between fighting with it in one hand or fighting with it in two hands. And apparently that even worked in Mountain Blade Warband. Now, the reason why I never realized that's how it worked, because in Warband, there were certain weapons that if it was like a, a one-hander, two-hander, when you swing it with no shield, you would be swinging with two hands rather than with just a single hand. So I guess that's where my confusion's coming from. I did read a comment that only the bastard sword had this fun uh, this function. I don't know if that's true, but you know, today I learned, and I'm pretty like amazed that there's things in in Warband that I am still learning, <laughs> which I find funny. Anywho. Before we go any further, how's Arlek looking? How old is he now? Is he 61? He's 61. I'm thinking once he gets to about 65. In fact, let's do it now. I'm going to go ahead and gray him up a little bit. He's getting old. In fact, I could be mistaken, but I think his hair is actually getting grey now. Is that actually happening? I think it is. Because his beard it looks kind of a mess now. It's going a bit grey. So I might just leave it and see if it does go grey. Yeah, I gave him the bigger beard because I figured he was getting older, you know. I could give him an even bigger one, but I don't really want to. He had that. Looks like it's glued onto his face. Let's give him this full one now. What about his hair? I mean, he's had these braids for a long time. What would his hair look like now it's grown? That's a bit of a mess. I guess I'll keep it this way for now. I just like the idea of the sense of progression, you know? He's getting older, he's going a bit grey. Well, that's a little bit worrying. 
He looks so skinny. And he's getting a bit fat. I know that with mods that you can change things like the muscle build and stuff, so there's a lot more options that you just simply don't get access to. Anyway, let's go figure out a plan. I'm stuck here. Barnapol, how's it looking? So I I have to travel all the way back if I want to get to friendly territory. Or I can just go to Varcheg, summon an army and wait for it to arrive. That may be the best course of action here. Because if I go off on my own, I'm probably going to get caught out. I can recruit one Sturgeon recruit. Lovely. Recruit troops. Okay, recruit these two. Could go and do a task. Maybe just get a better recruitment options. You know, it's funny, I've stayed here, done all this work for Varnapol. I don't even get paid for it, that's what that's what gets me. I don't even get paid for anything. I'm gonna need some food. I got fish. Of course I've got no carry capacity, so I'm a bit buggered there. So what we can. I think probably locked everything down. But it is what it is. Uh I didn't mean to do that. Give me my axe back, please. Oh god. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I don't use it. I don't use it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. There we go. I'm going to get 18k back. The vendor doesn't have enough money. After all that. After all that. Let's see. Grilled two hander. Wait. Is that better? That's what I had. What's this? Wing speed, handling, length. Take that back. There we go. That was mine. That was mine. Alright, screw it. Just give me what you can afford. I probably sold something very expensive. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to summon. Whoever we can. Yep. Everyone come over here. Of course, the only bad thing is I'm not going to have the food to keep this army going for long. We're going to have to play it very carefully. <gasps> no. Oh, hell no. Okay, we've got to go back. That is one thing I cannot afford to lose. That's been making us money for the longest time. And if I lose it, I'm likely not to get it back. Screwed enough. I know I've been here for like... Past 15 videos, but if they're going for my home, my personal uh, place, then we need to stop that. We need to stop that ASAP. Unless we've got friends heading over there. So where is it? It's... All the way over here. Looters do not muck. Don't, don't. Damn it, looters. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for this. I'm about to lose my city. Okay. I'll just quickly deal with them. Nice big open area. Probably shoot him to death. Oh, I'll get my axe. Oh my god, the damage. Just 
just enough kills they start fleeing but the amount of damage I'm taking here is not good there we go yeah that that wasn't good because that means I've just finished this and I'm half dead wasting my time okay I can recruit a few more troops. Give me a bit of protection as I travel. Well, there's. Oh, don't go that way. Oh, there's all my allies. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Is it still under siege? It bloody is. We gotta go quick. Where is everyone? Everyone's over here. They could probably win this fight if I were to jump in and help them. If I leave them, they're definitely going to die. I'm just going to have to take you I can get. Okay, let's go. 300's going to have to do I could probably save them, but I don't want to risk it. I need to get back. Defend. I got more allies on the way. Okay, we arrived. There's still some time. Still some time. Okay, he backed up. He saw me. He backed up. Good. So we managed to defend this. I should have more allies joining me. Here we go. Here we go, come on. Alright, I'm going to need to get some of these guys as prisoners. Get my troops in, I should handle it. Oh, didn't get to take any prisoners. That sucks. You just take him, take him in. So, at least we can trap her into a fight, take her out. got the troops here this will stop them from going after my city we're going to push them out and we'll push up from Varcheg. if i lose varnapol here on now i can't do much about it Take over command. we have to do this the best to the best of our ability how many soldiers how many range do i have not many probably not any good ones Horsemen come. Nasty hit there. That sucks. We've got thrown weapons. We're gonna have to take out these horsemen before we do anything, otherwise my infantry is gonna chase them. Well, it's a bit of a faff. And again, if most of their people are held up over there, we could probably go in, kill a whole bunch of infantry, force them to flee in terror. Definitely not a bad thing. Got the arrows. I like moving in slow motion. We're still closing the gap. Still closing the gap.
Oh wait, we're on top of their spawn. And we aren't killing them. Oh, they just destroyed us. That's not good. So listening to my troops is not a good idea. Everyone gather up. Let's sort this out. You guys let me down. You guys let me down immensely. We just lost a whole bunch of people. We barely lost anyone. Wait for everyone to group up while I get a few kills in here. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. picking up arrows as they go. That's cool. <laughs> I love the horse ragdoll in this game. What gets me is they're fighting this shield wall, but they can still turn around to fight me. That's what I don't get. But we are getting our asses kicked here. We can at least pick them off a little bit. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Shoot and scoot. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. I refuse to be beaten just by these guys. That's it. I'm almost dead. Almost dead, not good. survive this. I think I need to move my archers back to be honest. I'll tell you 
tell you what, this has turned into a mess. This has turned into a mess. We're going to keep fighting, see if we can survive. Although we have lost the majority of people, I don't understand how. I guess none of the people I pulled in had soldiers. Decent ones, at least. I've never gone into a more crushing defeat here. Let's pull back. Anyway, we'll see you this next time. Until then.